Welcome to another Python QGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to measure the distance between features using PyQGIS. And so I'll just show you the features I have pulled up here. Um, I have two points. These are just points I created just for this tutorial. And then I have this streams layer uh, that we've used in a lot of other tutorials. It's just taking a second to load. Okay. And so those two points are right here, and then I've got the streams, and I'm just uh, going to zoom in here, and I've got that imagery just for some context. All right, uh, so before we get started, I'm just going to do a simple measurement with the measure tool here, and I'm going to measure the line between these two points to get an approximation to see what we're at. So that's about 300 and 90 meters. Okay. And I'm just going to get an idea of the distance from these points to the line. And so that's about 75 meters. And this one is about 77 meters. All right. So just double check this was 390. Yep. And then we have 77 and 75. So let's keep those numbers in mind as we go through this. And so I'll also point out that with this tutorial, actually many of my other tutorials, I'm kind of learning this as I'm doing the video with you guys. So what I've done to prepare for this is I've taken a look at the QGIS geometry class, and there's this distance function here, um, which returns the minimum distance between this geometry and another geometry. Okay. Um, so I've just taken a basic look at this. Um, all we put in is we we get ourselves a geometry, and then we call geometry.distance and give it another geometry to measure the distance to. So we're going to go through, uh, and we're going to do that with the, with PyQGIS. So let's open our Python console, and we'll open the text editor. And we're just going to start with uh, a completely new project here. And so I'm going to start out with the source layer. And just give this a layer name. And so for now, my source layer is going to be new points. And I'm going to have a target layer, which for now is also going to be new points. Um, and then what I want to do is a uh, source feature. Uh, and this is going to be the ID, so we'll have one or zero, the first feature. We'll have the target feature, spell that correctly, uh, which is going to equal one. Okay, good deal. Okay, so we've got our source layer, our target layer, our source feature, and our target feature. Now, since these are the same thing, this is going to be a little bit different. So I'm just going to load this layer once. I'm actually going to change this now that I think about it to stream order. But we're not going to do anything with this target layer uh, for just a minute. Okay. And actually, let's get rid of these features. We'll come back and do those on the second time around. All right. So I've got my layer names, and now I need to just load those layers which if you remember, we can do with QGS project instance map layers by name. And then we're going to do our source layer. Oh, I actually need to, uh, let's make this source layer name so that we're Being consistent, we can actually name this source layer. Okay, so now we'll call this S layers. So we're turn a layer list, and then S layer equals uh, S layers and the first entry in that list. All right, so now we have our layer, and now what we want to do is we want to uh, get a source feature, uh, which we need to just get the first feature from the layer. So we can go slayer.getFirstFeature. 
get a feature and get the first one, which will be feature zero. We're going to get a target feature, which is going to be slayer.get feature, and that'll be feature number one. Okay, and then our source geometry will equal our source feature dot get geometry. I'm just going to double check and make sure that I have that correct. Okay, so this is actually just geometry like that. And then our target geometry equals oh, t feet dot geometry. And this should just be S feet, not S feature. Okay. So now what we have is we have our features and we have the two geometries we want to measure the distance. And so what I can do is I can do my distance, and this is I think going to be in meters, because this is in a UTM coordinate system. And so we'll do SGM dot distance. TGM, okay, and then we're going to print dist in meters. Okay, so if I've done this right, um, this should print out a number that's really close to 390. So let's go ahead and click run and see what happens and see if we have any errors. Run, and we have an error. Has no attribute, map layers by name. So I've got that wrong. Let me just double check that for us. Okay, and I simply forgot the parentheses there. So let's go ahead and quick run. And oh, that should be player. Let's go ahead and quick run. Okay, and there we go. There's a number right here. 390.15 meters. So as you can see, um, that answer is the same measurement on the map, which is a good thing. Okay. So that's how you're able to get those between two different points. So let's uh, look at how we can get this between a point and a line and see what happens there. Okay, so I'm going to just slide this. Actually, I'm just going to close this out of the way real quick. And we can take a look down here. Um, so you'll notice that we have a lot of different line segments. If I open up my attribute table here. So we've got a lot of different line segments. So the, each one of these is a different line segment. Um, and there are 297 line segments here. And so there are a couple of things we can do. One, we can measure the distance between each point and each line segment. Or two, we can... Um, just find the line segments closest to these points and measure those distances. Um, we've kind of done that already. We've identified with certain features with these two because we just gave it a feature ID and did that. So I think for this next one, we'll go through and we'll loop through. And for each one of these points, we will um, find the distance to each one of the lines. All right. So I'm going to open my code back up. So plugins, Python console, and I'm just going to go ahead here um, and make a comment that this is for um, distance between two features in the same layer. Okay. Oops, we'll get there. And then I'm going to come down here. And this is going to be distance between all features from two different layers. All right, so now I need to get my target layers. So my T layers is going to be QGS project dot instance parentheses map layers by name and T layer name okay and then t layer is going to be t layers zero dot instance map layers by name t layer name 
Okay, good deal. And so now what I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to do target features equals t layer dot get features. And we need our source features. So s feats equals s layer dot get features. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to loop through each uh, source feature and then each target feature. And it doesn't matter which one I do first. Um, it'll be the same number of iterations each time. And there's probably a, a more optimized way to do this, but just for the sake of time and simplicity, um, we're just going to do this and loop through each one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loop through the source features and then loop through the target features. And so we'll go um, for S feet and S feet. Uh, and then we want to go S geom equals S feet dot geometry. And now we're going to loop through the target features. We're going to go for T feet and T feet. And I'm naming these differently just so we don't get them too confused with the stuff up here. Um, we'll do t geom equals t feet dot geometry. Oops. Okay. And now the distance between the point and the line, so dish pl is going to equal. Um, oops. SGM dot distance TGM. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just print out a few things. So we're going to print um, S feet. And we want the feature ID, which I think is get. FID, it might just be FID, I'll double check that. I'm going to print T feet dot get FID, and then we're going to print dist PL. So let me just double check those get FID calls and make sure those are correct. Okay, and so this I believe should actually just be ID, not FID. Okay. So now when I click run, what should happen is this code here will still run, so we'll still get this 390. But then I should get two lists of 297 values each um, that should have the distance between the point and the line. So let's go ahead and click run and see what happens. Okay, and there we go. So you can see that we're going along here. Um, and it just kind of froze. It's taking a long time to do these. Um, oh, and we've crashed. Maybe. Let me stop this here and figure out what's going on. All right, we're back. So you can see here that we went through, um, and it looks like it's just done this for the first point here, but it went through and we've got, uh, 295 different points we went through for that. Um, so you can see that it calculated the distance in meters for each of these and some the distance is longer than for others. You can see that we get down, where's that shortest one? We get down to 73, 75, which is about we measured for that shortest one that was closest to it. Um, yeah, so we're getting it down there. I'm not sure why this didn't go through The, the whole thing. So let me just actually uh, comment. Oops. Comment all this out and see if we can get this to go for both of them. Uh, 
for S feet and S feet. Okay, so let's just see if this will run again. I'm going to try this one more time. So there it goes. It's going to freeze for a second here. And it's going to kick me out. And there it is. So it's only doing it for the first one. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that is. Let me see if I can fix that for you. All right, so I figured out what the problem was. Um, what I needed to do is I needed to move the um, get features for the target features down here and inside this loop before uh, it was right up here. Okay, so just take the tar the t feet equals t layer dot get features. I'll move it down here. So I added in this print statement just kind of as a debug statement to help me out. And we can get rid of that now. And so once we do this, I'll run this for you. Um, but I also added this line of code, this print, the source feature ID and print done. And that prevents us from crashing just by having something at the end of this loop. Um, so I'll click run again and you'll see this all work over on the side here. I'm um, sorry I didn't walk you through that code as I did it. But it's a little faster this way. So let's go ahead and click run. You can see we're going through all those points here. I'm going to get down to 295. I hope it's going to crash on me now. Um, but we'll pull it up and show you once it's done. Okay, so now you can see that instead of ending on the feature with ID 0, I have feature with ID 1, and there's feature with ID 0 there. And we've successfully uh, looped through all those points and found the distance from each one to the line. Okay, um, so that's how you can find a distance between geometries using QGIS Python or PyQGIS. Um, sorry that we got a little lost there towards the end, but I think we've got that figured out so that can work for you. Um, I think if you add in a print statement before this loop, it'll also prevent your Python console from crashing. Um, but anyway, just, just a brief overview of how to do that if you're looking at implementing it. Uh, you can make the code a little cleaner than we've done here, but I think this gives you the basic concept. And once again, as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions um, or any other tutorials you'd like to see, please leave a comment and let me know. I would be glad to hear from you. Thank you and have a great day.